great to be here. And um, in the region where I come from, actually, my mother, she grew up two blocks from this place. Yeah, really. <laughs> and she loves sharing stories about the old days. The days when people formed a real community. The days when people trusted each other, could depend on each other. Everybody had their own role, their own identity. A carpenter was a carpenter. People purchased goods from people they really knew. And those people, those craftsmen, were skilled. It was a time of a close-knit community made by personal connections and trust. We seem to have lost that a little bit in the subsequent years. When we got into this, we, we, we were started to make more money and we got into a society that was increasingly focused on the individual. Social alienation appeared. For me, I'm working in marketing. As a marketer, I was learned to focus on brand and product by providing and communicating all those emotional and functional benefits. Through regular advertising, um, yeah, we will probably tell you that this product is the most fantastic product there is and that you need to have it. People were conditioned to build up relationships by brands instead of building relationships with other people. Quite a while ago, um, I saw and felt as well the movements in society. And I think about seven years ago, I realized that those changes in society did not fit with this kind of marketing and advertising. And I made a decision. I wanted to investigate what connection is all about. First, I needed to have a really clear look on what was going on in society, of course. So I went onto the streets, made a lot of pictures of everything that grabbed me, visited a lot of cities and spoke to a lot of people. And then, ladies and gentlemen, when I thought I was ready, I was not, because then we got the crisis. Thank God we got the crisis, we could, because now we could freely redevelop our world. And all those small initiatives, and I'm sure you see them as well in your hometown, all those small entrepreneurs serving you meatballs, <laughs> all those small entrepreneurs are the silent revolution to a new society. What I saw as well, and what we also heard today, is that uh, I saw an increase in local products. People love buying those products because of their high quality, but they want to support their region as well. And most important, they know the people they buy these products from. What I also saw is that people want to hear a real story, not a bubble telling them how fantastic, great and slick and wonderful this product is. No, a real story based on truth. We are developing new personal values. Our personal identity is no longer expressed by the brand of the pair of jeans we're wearing. It is expressed by what you're telling. What's your story? Among my friends, there are a lot of people just quitting their job and choosing for careers they're much more passionate about. That's part of their identity. That's part of who they are, and that's important. We also have a um, new definition, not really a new definition, but we are um, having a... We value time differently, that's it, yeah. We appreciate it much more 
to spend time with our friends and family than just and attach less value to just things. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So I saw all those little developments in the society uh, where we seem to lots faith in brands and companies and organizations, there was a rise of trust between people. At the same time, I was moving to another part of Amsterdam, I'm, I'm living in Amsterdam right now, to a part with a lot of social differences. I didn't know anybody there, I wanted to meet more people and I wanted to learn the area. So from what I'd learned earlier, I wanted to know if I was able to create, to, uh, if I was able to facilitate the personal connection between people. And um, I wanted to create an environment that, where people could meet and uh, where it led to a building and trusting community. I wanted to create a connection between people on an equal level not on a top-down level, tell, telling people what to do, but on an equal level. So, with that in the back of my mind, I developed an event with the purpose to connect people in their local environment by clothes swapping. And it, I, the idea is a little bit based on the old days, when people uh, were used bought to bought goods instead of buying them. And nowadays, I discovered that a lot of people, especially women, by the way, have clothes in their closets. They only use for just a few occasions and then it's just hanging there. The event is called the Waslijn in Dutch, the clothesline in English, where people bring in their garments and uh, to swap and just to connect with other people. The, the, the garments are hung on the line, like laundry. And preferably, well, we preferably, um, uh, the, the, the garments are uh, hung on the line in a public place, preferably hitched between trees in a public park in a beautiful green area. And yeah, we mobilize people through social media to join this free event. What I discovered is that people connect really easy if they have something common to talk about. And clothing is something really personal. When the garments are hitched on the clothesline, people see who's trying or looking at their ex-garments. And that's enough ground to share stories with each other. And it goes like this. Oh you're, wearing, oh, you're wearing my dress. Oh, you look great. Yeah, I, I've worn that dress when I uh, went to a concert of Madonna, or when my sister got married, or where I was standing at TEDx for months. Um, that's by sharing those stories, a dialogue was, um, yeah, th there was a dialogue. And the real connection is made by creating an understanding in each, in, uh, in each other's lives. Because when at the event people meet their neighbor in, in person and they share stories, they will connect with a face and that's where the emotional connection arises. I think one of my favorite discoveries in this whole journey of the Waslijn lies in the fact that people, and we heard this before today, uh, lies in the fact that people have more fun to give than to receive. And I know it sounds maybe a little bit cliche, but it is true. All the participants come to us and say, oh, it was so nice making somebody else happy with the clothes I don't use anymore. And they even appreciate that fact more than going home with a new outfit themselves. I took lead in the first edition in September 2012. And I got, well, not really me, but we as a team got a really positive feedback. And... Um, 
also uh, great interest steer through social media that a lot of people uh, came to us and asked, can we do such kind of an event in our own hometown? And we encouraged it. And at this moment, we are facilitating all those requests. Dozens of Waslijn events are held in the Netherlands now, all organized by these people, local people. They do it on a voluntary base, by the way. Nobody is making money with this event. It's all on a voluntary base. What we do is that these people activate their local network and organize the complete event. And we provide them with our PR expertise. We give them a script with all the experiences of former editions. And um, yeah, this, the script, the materials, and uh, I lost it a little bit. Yeah, the, the, well, we, we provide them with all the materials they need to build up the event. And um, we guide them during the day. Um, yeah, after all these events, we, uh, I can say that we really did build a community. A community based on people with their own identity and their own stories. And we have lots of followers on Facebook and uh, through our website. We have uh, loyal visitors and we have a great group of ambassadors who want to share their expertise every time and time again. So um, after this experience, I can say that the Waslang events um, well, well, yeah, it is possible to facilitate a personal connection. And what we do is that we make a connection by people, by sharing those stories, thus building upon the same social values. And um, we've proven it that, it, that it is possible. And through this experience, looking at it as a marketer, of course, it is my strong belief that companies, organizations, and brands can win back trust of people if they focus on facilitating a human, social, and personal connection. That's all I have. Thank you. <laughs>